first we'll go to the device manager to check the selected com port com port 11 is selected now we'll go to the putty and select the connection type as serial and change the speed to 115 200 and press open now we'll change the font size now enter the admin password and enter the password again now the default password is created successfully now log into the device using the default password for the first time it is asked to change the password again Now the password has changed successfully. You can log, log into the device using the current password. Show running configuration. You can see the entire configuration file. For VLAN interface 1, 192.168.1.254 is applied. We can use that IP as the device IP. Now we'll log into the device using HTTPS. This is the 31 data GUI. This is the system information page. We can type any information here. This is the IP of the device. This is the admin user. Now we'll create some VLANs. We'll create 100, 200, and 201 for the management. And press add VLAN. After that, we'll create some trunk ports. Select 1, 9, 11 and 12 and change the mode to trunk. Now, four trunk ports are created. Now we'll add created VLANs. Now we'll go to the access ports and change it to 100 I kept 7 port as it is because I have logged in using that port now we will add the management interface IP 201 is the VLAN ID and this is the new IP for the 31 data switch. <coughs> now we can save. Also we can add a static route or the default gateway. Now we'll go to the network interface card and add the secondary IP. For that we need to go to the Ethernet and properties. There select the TCP IP 
V4 properties and second IP is already added. Now we'll we'll go and see we can ping to the secondary IP. It is pinging. Now we'll change the device IP. This is how the device IP is going to be changed. Go to VLANs and here you can change the VLAN to 201. Now the connection is disconnected. Here you can see we can ping to the device. New device IP is 10.10.10.12. 10, 10 we can connect to the device using CLI. We log into the device using the admin password. save configuration because the password that we created is not saved to the startup configuration by default the value for primary power supply is 120 that is 30 into 4 ports because by default there are only 4 ports available now we'll change it to 240 that is 13 to 8. Now we'll save the configuration.